Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna vlog this experience and we're continuing to play with our new vlog cam. So any feedback in the comments down below is definitely appreciated. Today I wanted to film a collective haul for you. When's the last time you heard that? I feel like that was the norm for us on YouTube. <laughs> All the YouTube creators, anytime we did a haul, it was like, this is going to be my collective haul. I feel like that's a title that we used often. Anyway, I basically wanted to show you all of the clothing that has entered my life since uh, since Landmas, really. There's been a lot new in for the new year. Some things I have purchased, some things that are very kindly gifted to me. I just wanted to do a big jumble of a try-on haul for you today. So I've got the... Look at the tripod. LOL, LOL. I've got the rack all set up, ready to go. I'm gonna show you all the new in bits and then everything that I mentioned. I will link in the description box down below. A portion of this video is very kindly sponsored by Everlane as well. And I just need to say, I purchased some things myself and then they very kindly gifted some things as well. I'm a big fan of Everlane. I've worked with them a ton in the past and they make some really, really beautiful quality, incredible basics. And then they're very transparent about the pricing of their products, where they get their products made. And it's just a brand that I'm very happy to work with overall. And I really appreciate the pieces that they bring into my wardrobe. So Everlane, thank you so much. Um, I'm actually gonna start with their pieces and then I have some new in from the Frankie shop from Revolve, Lululemon, New Balance, and I'll show you all the things that are new in and that have been gracing my body since the holiday. So if you like clothing videos, please do give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos from me. And I am starting the video in a sweatsuit because I'm gonna be putting everything on for you because that was feedback from the last video being like, hello, please put the clothing on your body so we can see I hear you and I'm here to get naked for you today. So let's dive in. So the first piece that I got from Everlane is the piece that I actually purchased myself. And I, I think I had mentioned this. I have the Pima Micro Rib Turtleneck. I have this one in white and gray. And over these last few winter months and weeks, I've just been really noticing the void of a black turtleneck in my collection. And I really wanted to get this one specifically. I love the ribbed material. I like that it is really nice and, and bounces back and is nice and snug. It's also not like an itchy wool <laughs> material, which is the black turtleneck that I had before and which is why I had a gap in my wardrobe of a black turtleneck missing, but this one's really, really soft. It doesn't itch your neck and it fits like a dream. I get this one in a size small and I had ordered the black over the holiday because it just, it's one of my favorite pieces and it's definitely a necessary basic if you live in a cold climate. So this is the first piece that I purchased from Everlane. So Everlane, if you guys are looking for some new turtlenecks in your life, definitely check these ones out. I'm gonna link the specific one that I bought in the description box below. So here is the black turtleneck on. Really, really nice fit. I did get this one in a size small. Small, and it's just the perfect basic, the perfect layering piece. I love how light it is. And again, it's super, super soft, not itchy at all on the neck. And I just love it. And like I mentioned, I have two other colors in this particular one. It is that more fine, well, it's the micro rib, total, total staple in my wardrobe. So then next for the gifted pieces from Everlane, I actually saw these other turtlenecks on their website and I was really, really into the colors. This is like a beautiful bone, kind of creamy ivory shade. And then this gorgeous, gorgeous, like true hunter green. And the, the ribbing on this is a little bit thicker. It's a little bit more of a substantial, thicker piece altogether, but it's that same beautiful bouncy rib, like tight fitting. And I think that having the larger rib just makes it a little bit more of a statement piece. And I was really, really happy that they sent through these colors. I think it's just gonna complete my little tighter turtleneck winter wardrobe and these are perfect for the winter because you can layer up cardigans on top blazers put a jacket over top i basically like with these turtlenecks in general and why they were missing in my wardrobe so much is because i really perfected my like giant oversized chunky knit collection which i have a few pieces that you guys have seen me wear and i just i love my giant turtlenecks but i was really missing just some like smaller, thinner materials, something that's less boiling, something that I can layer up other pieces with. And that's why I was really, really excited to get my hands on those turtlenecks. They're just the perfect layering piece for winter and it, they're just a necessity. Really, really happy to have those in my wardrobe. So here is the green rib turtleneck from Everlane. This is actually a wool blend. It's a wool and nylon and elastane blend, but it's just, it feels exactly like the cotton one, like the black version that I bought, uh, because it's not itchy at all. Like don't let the wool turn you away because that same like super soft cottony feeling, just like a really, really beautiful fine wool. And I love that the rib is a little bit more pronounced. And I think this color is fabulous. Loving all the green. The green continues my closet. <laughs> and here is the same in the bone color. Again, love, love. Love the thick rib. I think it just makes it much more interesting and exciting in terms of your general like basic layering piece. 
Don't mind the black bra. We've got a little vibe going on here with the black pants. But again, super soft, really comfortable. And I also got this one in a size small. I look like I'm gonna go have a hot chocolate in the lodge in the Alps. <laughs> the next two pieces from Everlane, I was really, really excited about these. These are part of their cashmere collections. And with their cashmere collections, I've had a few pieces before and I actually ended up ordering sizes that are too small. I do find their cashmere pieces to be a little bit smaller fitting. So I did get some updated pieces from their cashmere line in a size large, just cause I do like that more drapey fit on me. So was really excited about this beautiful cashmere V-neck sweater. I love the color. It's like a perfect oatmeal kind of creamy gray. The details in the stitching and then in the V-neck, it's just super gorgeous. It's a really, really soft, soft material and again, I just wanted like some lighter pieces to layer up. I have a black v-neck sweater that I wear absolutely all the time because it's one of my only like thinner material pieces. So I was really excited to expand my, my color collection in that. And I just feel like this is just a classic, a staple that'll be in my wardrobe forever. And yeah, the cashmere is just so divine and so soft. Oh my God, it's so good. Look at the v-neck. Love this, love this so much. Love the color. It's so comfortable. I always like take my sweaters like this and do a little little half tuck there, but it's also a piece that you could definitely do a full tuck. Love this, perfect color, perfect fit. And again, that incredibly soft, soft cashmere material. And the final piece that I got from Everlane is another piece from their cashmere collection. I also got this in a size large, and this is just their plain crew neck cashmere top. And I have a gray crew neck cashmere top that I wear endlessly and I mentioned that I have a black v-neck so I kind of just like got the two pieces that were the missing gaps in my <laughs> layering up wardrobe and I love to have simple crew necks like this I love to wear them by themselves again having that thinner material to wear in the winter but also using this to layer over top of button down button up shirts is just the perfect I think it's just a staple that everyone needs in their closet especially if you live in the winter climates okay so here is the cashmere crew the fit is absolutely perfect like I mentioned I did get this in a size large so that it could have a a little bit more of a, a comfortable drape. I think these are meant to be a more tight fit, but I like my sweaters like this to be nice and loose. And yeah, the collar is just gorgeous. It's the most soft material. And whenever you don't know what to wear, these are the perfect style of sweaters to just throw on with absolutely anything on the bottom, layer up with anything underneath it. It's just, it's so great. What have I been doing with my life? Everlane, thank you so much. This is so, so gorgeous. I absolutely love the fit of this. <laughs> my hand just absolutely missed that book. So that is new in from Everlane. Very, very excited about those new pieces. The next thing that I picked up is a new coat. And I ordered this, I wanna say I ordered this like in mid-December. I swear to God, this took so long. If you guys have ordered from the Frankie shop in Canada, the shipping is unexpectedly long. There were some shipping delays, let's just say that. And it took a very, very long time for this coat to get here and I've already posted a few pics on my Instagram. I already showed this in a vlog, but this beautiful, beautiful, coat i actually forget the name but i know the shade is coco specifically but i will link to it in the description box down below but it's just so gorgeous the tailoring is so beautiful it's definitely a little bit more of a spendy purchase but um the quality is stunning and this purchase actually inspired a good purging of my coat wardrobe which if you guys uh keep up with my depop posting you'll know that i cleansed my coat wardrobe a little bit when this bad boy came in but i love the color it really is a true cocoa a true nice light brown and i could not be more thrilled with like the material and the shape it's it's absolutely gorgeous so here's the Frankie shop coat on I love the fit of this so much it's got such a nice drape and a nice hang a lot of the pieces from Frankie shop are one size which is obviously not ideal but hopefully as they grow they will be able to expand the the size range that they carry I just think the quality of this the shape the tailoring everything is perfect the color is perfect for my wardrobe it's neutral while being like a little bit different I'm just obsessed with the browns and I love that we're seeing them absolutely everywhere don't mind the light in the background <laughs> <laughs> and say hello to our new camera. Uh, yeah, here is the full length of the coat. It kind of just goes like, what would you call this? Like a mid-calf, mid-calf length. I love the shape so much and I have been wearing it to death. I wanted to mention this next piece because this is another one of those things that I was actually on a wait list, a, a restock wait list for it for quite some time. I, I believe this came out in the early fall, this whole collection from Ula Johnson. She did a lot of different pieces like with this pattern and she had some dresses, there were some other shaped blouses, but this one in particular I had seen on Revolve and I had also seen on some other sites, but I was just like, I'm so in love with the colors. You guys know how I feel about my orange. I made my orange blush with nude sticks. I love all things orange and that translates into 
clothing as well. The Ula Johnson pieces are more of that investment price point for sure, but this is one of those blouses where I feel like I'm gonna film in it so much, I'm gonna wear it so much. I have um, my one Isabel Morant Etoile black blouse. I recently gave her a wash, forgive me, but this black blouse is a huge spendy purchase that I had <laughs> invested in a few years ago, and it's one of my most worn tops ever. And I've mentioned to you guys, I just wanna have those like staple blouses, my go-to blouses that I can wear at any given time for any occasion and any need. And I just wanted to add some color into that uh, blouse wardrobe for me. So I have my staple pieces that I wear all the time and I just wanted to inject some color and some fun pattern and life into that. And I just love the cut of this. It's got a really deep V. You can choose like how deep you want the V to be. I can let the titties run loose in this and I just, I'm obsessed with the color. I think it's gorgeous. And uh, when I saw that she came back in stock, I bought it immediately. So I do believe it is now a sold out top, but it's always something that you could keep an eye on in the um, pre-loved market. And I just, yeah, I was really obsessed with this entire collection from Ula Johnson and was very happy for this to arrive, my darling. Here is the Ula Johnson top. I just love her. She's such a treasure. I love how open and drapey it is. I've undone all the strings and I'm just letting it flow. I love the detail on the sleeve. It's just, it's just so gorgeous. There's like shimmering gold thread running through it. I already posted this on Instagram and I also wore this in my first video back for the new year. It's just, yeah, she is a treat. Love her so much. And I hope she stays with me in my closet for a very, very long time. I love her. I love her so much. <sighs> so next I wanted to mention my new favorite obsession, my new favorite workout obsession. And they are these specific tops from Lululemon. And I thought I still had a tag on this one, but I don't, so forgive me. I'm just gonna put the name of what this is on the screen here, but I've been wearing these so much. You guys have seen me post it on Instagram. I believe I posted it uh, on YouTube as well. I know I linked this one on Instagram over the holiday, but basically if you guys have followed the whole journey of the the vlogs over Landmas. Uh, we have been working out in our garage. That's where we built our home gym. And we also don't have any kind of like heating or any air in there like in the summer. <laughs> we are going to melt. We're gonna need to do something in there for cooling. But this winter when it got freezing, like BC winters are normally very mild in comparison to other regions in Canada. And this year we got quite cold and over the winter break, like it was, it was like minus 14 out there, which is just not ideal for working out in. There was a heater shortage because like the whole region was hit with so much cold. Um, people were just unprepared and you couldn't find like space heaters anywhere, us being one of them. So in the meantime, I was like, oh my God, I need, I need more layers when I'm working out. And Dan was really sweet and he had actually picked this up for me for Christmas to layer up under my sweaters because sometimes just one one layer was not enough and I needed some more like skin tight warming thermal layers so he picked this up for me and I loved it so much I love the shape I love that it has the little thumb half gloves in it and it was so comfortable to work out in now that it's even gotten a little bit warmer I've just been choosing to work out in this exclusively with my sports bra basically it feels like nothing it feels like you're just working out naked in your skin I love it so much so that I bought more colors. Oh, there's a string. So I had shown that I bought this like beautiful neon fluorescent green color. And then I also got it in the white and I also got a gray one and it's in the wash. And I tell you, like I've been wearing them every single workout. I've got four on rotation. That's all I've been wearing. They are so great. I'm gonna link to the exact ones below. The fluorescent green one, I actually got in the shorter race length, it's called. It's just slightly cropped. The regular length goes down and kind of covers your butt a little bit, but I like both of them and I have both of them and these are so great and yeah. A lot of people, when I posted on Instagram, were asking about sizing. Uh, I did find these to be quite true to size. I did get this in a size six. And, and they're fabulous and that's new in from Lululemon. I have been loving them so much and they have been a savior for our winter workouts outside in our garage. <laughs> The other piece I picked up from Lululemon, I actually haven't tried this on yet. I need to try it on. We'll experience this journey together here, but I got this fluorescent like neon green sports bra. Love the color. My pump covers. Oh my God, I totally forgot to mention that Dan calls those my pump covers. <laughs> if I keep wearing them, I'm gonna take them off at some point and notice all of my gains. And he calls it the pump cover. Anyway, I thought that was hilarious. So I had the neon green in the long sleeve shirt and saw this sports bra. I don't know, we'll try it on together. I don't know if it's gonna fit properly, but love the color, love that it's ribbed. I'm on a really big ribbed roll right now. And it just looks really comfy and loving this color, loving this neon green. So we'll try that on together in a moment and see how we feel. Whoa, okay, here's the, here's the sports bra. Uh, she's tight. I got this in a size eight. In Lululemon sports bras, I'm a size eight because I have such a giant rib cage, but 
she's uh she's tight for sure but very cute love the color and i thought the the rib material and the fun little cutouts it was just very fun fun little sports bra i do my workout tonight when i'm done filming so i might just have to keep this on and go take her for a test ride but yeah there's the sports bra. Okay, so next up, let's talk about a few pieces that I got new in from Revolve. I was actually filming a new in like trends to try video for Revolve. So got some very, very beautiful pieces gifted to me. So Revolve, thank you so much. And I believe you guys have seen this particular piece quite a bit floating about my videos and on Instagram, I posted about this a lot, but this gorgeous, uh, this gorgeous cardigan from Lovers and Friends. I am just in love with the color. I'm in love with the shape. I got this in a size medium. It's super, super oversized, which I actually really like. I put it on the other day with a pair of jeans and some heels and just like let it hang with with a chunky gold necklace. I'll put the little pick of it here and I was just obsessed with it. It's just, I, I think this is very me sweater. I love the color and it's itchy, but it's not uncomfortable, especially because you don't have like a high neck or a turtleneck. It's not like itching the most itchy spot right there on your neck. Uh, I don't really notice it at all. And I haven't even undone the buttons. I haven't even worn it unbuttoned because I just, I love the shape and the hang so much. I'm obsessed with this and I hope that she never dies and I hope I have her in my wardrobe for years to come, loving the colorful, cardigans and this was gorgeous very 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 loved new piece in my wardrobe the next piece that i got was from the camilla coelho collection i'm always second guessing if i say her name correctly i really need to look that up this is a gorgeous backless top and if you guys watched my vlog you would have seen me in this this is what i was wearing when my crate and barrel mirror was delivered but it's this gorgeous like knit turtleneck really really soft it's ribbed again loving the ribbed moment that we're having here and then it's got two strings on the back and you tie it up and it is backless and it is just so sexy and and delicious and i feel like it's equally comfortable while being fabulous enough to like wear out for a girl's night you know i love this layering up under blazers oh my god and i just think it's so great this is such a versatile piece and yeah i didn't know i I liked my back so much until I had exposed it with this sweater. So here is the little cropped backless top. How fun is that? I never thought that I'd be able to pull off a little top like this and it's so spicy. Business in the front, party in the back, but for real, it's like your casual, warm, comfortable winter turtleneck and then bam! Party time in the back, how fun, how fun is that? I can't get over it, I'm so obsessed. And then I had also worn it with these Academy suit pants, oh my gosh, you guys. Listen, I love pants in general, I'm definitely a pants gal. Those are all of my pants, I love to wear trousers and pants and all those things. These pants from Academy are, are one of the best fitting pants that I've actually ever put. They're like a really long tapered leg, but then perfectly high-waisted. They're just, the shape of them are great. Like I actually think that they should take this exact pant and just make some normal ones across the board, like without the detail that I'm about to talk about. And then to also come out with them in every color. Like if these were in white, if they were in beige, oh my god, if they were in chocolate brown. Anyway, what's so fun about these, and I'll try them on for you in a sec so I can explain myself better, but they've got this tie that's like slightly higher than the waist and that just wraps around and ties in a little bow at the front. And it is such a fun detail, especially when you're wearing a lot of like cropped things or if you're like me and you love to wear bralettes with your blazers. This just adds such a fun detail. I can't, I can't get over it. They're so fun. They're the most flattering shape ever. And the quality, the feel, the fabric, they're so gorgeous. And this was such a standout piece from the haul that I did with Revolve. So absolutely in love with these. Academy is one of my favorite brands that they carry. They're so, so good. So I'm going to show you the fabulous Academy pants now. But I just wanted to show you that when I was filming the Revolve video, I was wearing this top with these pants. And all I did was take... The sweater and tuck it up to expose the fabulous little detail on the pants how fun how fun is that oh my god i'm so in love with the little string it just makes it so much more interesting jazzing up your classic dress pants love i'll show you how they fit on the bottom i put my heels on and everything so you can see so here is the fit of the academy pants they've just got a really nice nice taper they've got the little seam down the middle which I'm a little bit more thick thighed, so that usually doesn't show up as much for me, but I just love these. These are so cool. They're so comfy, so stretchy. You get full stretch in these. It's amazing. And yeah, just a really sexy little addition of the string. They're so fun. 
The final piece from Revolve is one of the pieces that I actually saw when they did their New York Fashion Week segment. And then at the time it said that all of the like Eve's pieces weren't coming in stock until November. And then I waited very, very patiently for this blazer to come back in stock. <laughs> Much longer than November, but I'm so happy that I finally got my hands on it. And it is this gorgeous, Oh, this gorgeous, gorgeous, like pistachio green corduroy blazer. Is it insane? Possibly, yes. But, oh, I, I guess I didn't update you guys. When I had done my matches fashion haul, I actually ended up returning that corduroy blazer. I don't need to like have too much corduroy in my life. And if I were to choose, like I'd rather have the pop of color. I was trying to convince myself to add more color into my wardrobe. So, so happy that this one is here. It's very, very thick. It's a lot more thick than I thought. So it's gonna be that perfect layering piece. Uh, for the winter time and you guys know how I feel about green. I'm adding all things green into my wardrobe and this was just such a luxe like beautiful beautiful very special piece and I'll throw it on so you guys can see how it fits on. So that's my new in blazer Revolve. Thank you so much. She is such a treasure such a treasure in my wardrobe. All right so here is the corduroy blazer. I'm in love with the color. It's so thick. It's so luxe. It gives it reminds me of like a very vintage piece of clothing and I think it's just so fun. I wouldn't necessarily wear it with this. I actually think I'd wear it with like white underneath. I think that's the best bet. But I'll definitely be styling this up in the weeks to come, so keep an eye out on my Instagram. But love the blazer. It, uh, yeah, I just think it's such a great, fun pop of color. So the final new in piece, my friends, is in fact a pair of shoes. And here they are. I did get a new pair of sneakers from New Balance. Not the 550s. Unfortunately, they did do, you know, they did a restock. Dan actually very lovingly had put on notifications for that and uh, we missed it. We missed the restock and I am devastated. Truly, if anyone is a size US 7 in women's and you want to sell your sea salt white and black New Balance 550s, I will buy them from you. Still deeply on the hunt for those, but very thrilled with these ones that I picked up. Uh, I got these off of Essence, and these are the 990 GL5 Gray Sneaky Sneaks from New Balance. I kept them fresh and new in the box for you so that I wouldn't taint their beauty, but really, really love the color of these. <laughs> I wear a lot of gray, I wear a lot of black, and I wear a lot of white. So I kind of thought this was a perfect addition into my sneaker wardrobe. I do have my like creamy pair of New Balances that Dan had got for me, but they also get destroyed. Like having light, like ivory and cream <laughs> sneakers. <laughs> It's not always the best for outdoor living, especially when you live in BC when it's raining 90% of the time. Love that this color was like a little bit more durable. And even like this sweatsuit, my rotate sweatsuit, I live in this and I wear it daily. Like how cute to just have like an all gray fit, throw a jacket on with it, a little spicy toque, like that's the winter uniform. And then you're very comfortable at the same time. So I was really, really happy with this color. And that's my recent baby in my sneaker wardrobe. Here are the new sneaky sneaks. This is like my everyday uniform, a full sweatsuit and some sneakers. And I just thought the whole like gray ensemble was very lovely. I even have gray socks. Okay. And I thought they were super fun. What do you guys think of the all gray fit? This is, yeah. Oh my God, I love them so much. They're so fun. Okay, I'm gonna take the tags off them now and officially, officially take them out for their maiden voyage. All right, friends. So those are all of the new pieces that I have picked up. There is my collective haul for you, if you will. All the pieces that I showed in today's vid, I'm going to do my best to link them in the description box down below for your viewing and or shopping pleasure. And I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on the new additions to my wardrobe. I had already mentioned this in the last vlog, but there's definitely a lot of new in here. And I had gone through my entire closet over the holiday and did a big purge on my Depop. So there were a few new fun colorful pieces but also just uh, filling in some of the gaps that I had in my wardrobe so a lot of these pieces are beautiful staples with a couple of fun colorful things sprinkled in so I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on the pieces that I've picked up thank you so much for being here and for watching and I'll see you all very soon for a new video bye Gotta fly